League of Legends, Dota 2, Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, StarCraft are some of the top earning esports in the world. With millions of dollars and millions of viewers, these games come down to the most strategical teams and most skilled players. But are these games considered sports? Sport is something that requires um, physical activity and usually has uh, a skill to, or skills in the floor. Something that requires physical activity and is in real life. Well, it has to have a lot of moving around, activity and physical intensity, but also mental intensity. My view of a sport is that the person or the athlete that partakes in the sport has to have like skills in that certain uh, game. Something that you do as a team it has to be something you can win. You have to have fun doing it, you know, like something you can win at, something like in the end as a team you celebrate. There has to be a payout too. Yeah, you gotta get paid otherwise it's not fun. Sport is something you can play that involves physical activity? No, they're just for fun. They're not real life. There's no physical activity. To me, it, it doesn't require any activity except for, well, I suppose there's a certain level of hand-eye coordination, and I imagine you have to be pretty nimble with your, with your fingers, mm -hmm. I guess, but it doesn't seem, yeah, it's a skill, for sure it's a skill, but I don't think, it doesn't seem to me to be an athletic skill. Uh, games online are already like a big thing. They have CSGO tournaments. Um, people get really famous off it. For example, Kenny S. And I do think it's a great thing that electronic sports are uh, really big now since you actually need skill, good reaction time, and you have to work for it. EA Sports is kind of just, it's based off sports. It wouldn't really be considered a sport. You're playing sports, but you're not actually outside doing the actual sport. If there's a trophy involved, if you're playing on a team and you practice every day, then. Yeah, a sport has to be something that you work at. It has to be like your goal. You have to have goals. It has to be something to work towards. You affect the team a lot more than you would in sports. No, because it's not, you're not moving your body, you're moving your hands and it's on the screen. I don't play a lot, but I have a PS4. PS4. Um, I played Pong. You probably didn't even know what that is. Um, you know what it is? Yeah. Yeah. I played that once and I tried to play one of the car ones for both. 30 seconds. PC Master Race. My, in my personal opinion, I don't think that gaming should be considered a sport because there's no physical intensity. But if you compare it to games like chess, and if you're competing against someone else, then I guess it could be considered a sport because you have that mental intensity and the competitive element to it. To zero, zero. Oh, it's, <laughs> okay. I have a very narrow view of sports. Clearly. Not very said that. Games to the extent that the watcher or the people like watching the game are entertained and if the games are competitive enough. For example, team versus team or uh, free throw or something like that. In general, people think more like physical activity and stuff. Yeah. But for me I think it just if someone is has like skill in that game or something then it should be called sport and yet that like a certain level of like competitive. You know, if you watch TV for like five hours, you get bored of watching TV, you wanna go do something else. Like if you know, a sport is where like you can do it for like your entire life and you never get bored of it. That's how you know it's really sport. But I mean like a sport is something that you're like burning calories and building muscle mass and I mean, I guess it's like a mental sport, but I mean, not physical. Okay, so yeah, like a mental sport, but not a physical sport. What is the definition of sport? I don't know. 